Hello, Billy the Artist here, and already we have done Denise and Kermit the Frog. Denise is Kermit's new girlfriend in the new Muppet programme. Apparently, he has ditched Miss Piggy, but we are doing Miss Piggy today. So anyway, you can check out the videos of those how to draw from previous videos. Anyway, as I showed you in those ones before, here is a very detailed drawing that I did, and there's a time-lapse video of this, of Chris Walker. Oh, I've just dropped the pencil. There we go, the trusty 2B. And the time lapse video of this from start to finish is on, but this is a very long, detailed drawing that takes days and days and days. Whereas, obviously, uh, Kermit and Denise and Miss Piggy will take about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. But this is what you can do when you spend long amounts of time, but that takes a very long time to do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one as well. But I also showed you some from my sketchbook of musicians and things, showing you how drawing from life out on the spot is great and in the Kermit one you saw the ones from the Fusion Festival. Anyway this is when I was in Wellington in New Zealand uh, once and I was just standing on a street corner with the sketchbook and again it's just using different elements of squares and shapes so you've got little ovals to build up and cylinders to build up the lamppost and then just lots of shapes whether it's triangles or squares or oblongs all in perspective you can check out my uh, how to draw the TARDIS in two-point perspective and that will show you how using perspective you can actually recreate what's in front of you for something like this which is a landscape drawing but again it's all just simple basic shapes so if you enjoy this one there's the blank piece of paper for Miss Piggy and here is my trusty 2B pencil and again remember it's just very quick very simple placing of shapes so I hope you're ready and you can enjoy this as we draw Miss Piggy so we've got her ear is the top so I'll just put a mark down kind of roughly spacing some bits and pieces out and her head is going to come down to about there which is just above kind of halfway and then a shoulder. So now if I draw in a quick shape for a nose and her eyes, there's a, let's just start by getting some big shapes. In. Again, a bit of a, not a square, but not a complete egg or an oval. But that'll be Miss Piggy's shape of her head. And then a big curly golden locks that come down the side of her neck. Just checking out the shape of her arm that's coming down. Again, there's a triangle of this transparent kind of netting chiffon -y material that she's got over her arm. But her arm comes down, so they're just simple tubes, and you can't see a hand that's underneath. But then you've got the body's part of a dress that comes down, and you've got her trotter. Is it her hand? Who knows? So when we get to the edge of the paper, so we know that this is kind of down here. Again I'm just putting these shapes in rather quickly to help me and then I'll put darker lines down. But the shapes help you to actually position everything. There's the brooch off a necklace so that's going to come there. And you use your lines, your construction lines, side of a neck, up for a head, to give you a guide for your next line that comes down. Swirly bit for the side of the curls. Another big swirly bit, which is a big blonde hair as it's bouncing around. But we're just doing a quick, fast, loose, fun drawing. So there, we need to bring that across, hair comes down over the top, 
and there's a bottom lip that comes underneath. Again, we can just use and remember an eraser, a rubber is not, I mean, that's a putty rubber, that's the full rubber, is not just for correcting mistakes. If you think you've made mistakes, you can actually use them as part of your drawing tools, which allows you a lot more creativity and a lot more flow. So now we can bring Miss Piggy's nose in a little bit more. That's the top of her nose. There's the bottom. She's just got indicated, not big dents or divots. Her nostrils on the end of her snout. There's a mouth. See a mouth, the shape is a bit like a little triangle, upside down triangle. You can see I've got the nose, a lit, the bottom of the nose, a little bit too high there. So that's the whole point with doing your construction lines a bit lighter. I mean, you can see quite faintly. I normally draw in a little bit darker the construction lines. Let's get her other ear in because coming up from a shoulder is hair and then her ear is a bit of a kind of egg shape and then her inner ear is just reduced down a little bit and then we can put her eyes down now her eyes are more like large ovals rather than the kind of egg shapes, they're more closer to round, just slightly off round, than Denise's were. We're comparing the two pigs in Kermit's life here. But then her eyebrows go across it and come off. So you've got a bit of a triangle there. And we can accentuate them. And then her eyes underneath big blue eyes you've got the full circle and then remember leave the little circle for the highlight on the pupil top of the nose to get the hair coming down fringe over the top again these are very quick construction lines as you've seen in my sketchbook, especially with that, those drawings, the Wellington building drawings. And then you can put a darker line down after, or you can soften these out a little bit and the hair is all smoothed out. But that, and you can just see a face starting to build up in a body. It's just an array of shapes. So again, a finger with a ring on, just down from the brooch. That finger is more horizontal on the page. And this one is pointing down. And that one is just pointing out. And then you've got the bracelet that comes around the back. And now we've got the basics of the outline down and we can start building up the detail. So if we start with her eyes so that they stand out, Again, you can put a piece of paper down. If you'll see in the Chris Walker drawing, I put paper down underneath my hand and that stops things from smudging on if you're doing a very detailed drawing. But for these fast ones, I tend not to put a piece of paper down so you can see all the drawing and the illustration. And again, when you're drawing fun, it doesn't matter about your smudging. Enjoy it and just make marks and create and smudge things around. So if we start off now and start delineating Miss Piggy's eyes. So she's got quite a dark section there. We can do a pupil and then her iris on the outside is blue. Again you can just fill that in quite quickly with some shading. She's got individual lines that make that up. Make the black go into her eye and then she's got her eyelid is pink 
not quite as dark as the top but you can then just whack in her eyelashes because they are massive right over the top make her eyeliner a bit thicker underneath and then do the same on the, this eye on this side do her eye inside there's the underneath of her eyelash that kind of triangle and then accentuate the eyelash going off and then you get a pink eyelid over the top the pupil going in with the highlight is just a circle and you create the white circle and if it is that you make a mistake or you think you've made a mistake when you think oh I've put that on a little bit too dark or you haven't left any white in there just get a little bit of white paint and put a blob on for the highlights and that'll make them stand out and that's very very simple way of actually creating the shape and uh, sorry the highlight inside just use a little bit of paint and bob it on or a little bit of white chalk or white pencil crayon and you'll pick it up again the nose remember you've got this like kind of oblong in the center but it's got slightly rounded corners and your, sh your shading will pick that up we'll draw that down and then so that's just the main outline of the bottom of a nose and then you've got a mouth which is that tiny little kind of triangle we can shade that in then underneath her bottom lip Miss Piggy is undoubtedly the star of the Muppets if you disagree she'll come and beat you up so you certainly don't want that coming and knocking on your door Kermit's had that for years and it's been quite good fun it's a bit like pantomime really that's why the Muppets is so funny you know what's coming but you're just going to enjoy it so if we just draw on the ear and then the outline most of this is going to be picked up with shading and then hair over the top I see you've got this slightly diagonal angle and the hair goes behind her ear And then a little bit of a shadow there, a bit of a curl coming around the cheek for a big blonde locks. And then you've got a shoulder that comes out down to her arm and then a long glove on the top. And the glove as it comes down is obviously going to be softer underneath. So just draw a slightly not so dark line going underneath. So that when you put the chiffony thing over the top that'll help it to show through and again it'll show you very quickly again using a razor and a bit of smudging technique how you can build that up and just look at the folds they're just triangles and lines that build up inside the chiffon kind of neck curtain covering and they've got little circles on little discs so now we've got her arm coming up in fact that should be about there so you can see here I've been too far over that should be down here so I'll just move that get your eraser really rub that out and all of a sudden you can push your drawing over so that it actually fits because that line was just a little bit too far over her arm should come out just the other side of her eye and then that should come 
underneath the nose down there so even that one is too far over and this is how you don't be afraid of correcting things on your drawing you can just enjoy the drawing process to make it come alive quite quickly so again let's just get back to drawing quite fastly there's the strap you've got a kind of top of a triangle coming down to a fingers bit of an oval for just the little swirly lines for the brooch that's around the neck the pendant on a necklace and she's obviously got the customary pearls they're just big so you just draw C's and you can recreate them and again I've got them going up a little bit further under her neck but that's okay got a row of pearls going on and then just the wiggly line for the brooch as that goes coming down for a hair from the top and when you're doing hair pretend you're brushing it and go with the flow of the contours of it and that will make it look a little bit more realistically just go in the direction that you see the light and the way the hair is falling on the around the head and around the face and then curls just stick some swirls in and that will make them stand out now we need a finger so we've got this brooch on a finger ring with a jewel encrusted ring and then the velvet glove goes in and then there's a little bit of a fold there the seam on the glove as it goes on a finger so that one goes back and then there's the last finger underneath so straight away you can see Miss Piggy is really starting to come together a bracelet again is just some humongous diamonds because she is such a high class pig and such a global megastar that she only wears the best and then you've got the line of the velvet coming down off a dress and off a hand so there very quickly we've got all the shapes that we need coming down to create Miss Piggy again we need her flesh tones in so again I'll carry on using the 2B and we need some shading in so if we just put a very quick mid tone in and you can either leave the cross hatching or you can smudge it and then pull the highlights out and you can increase the shadows and increase the highlights by using your eraser and all of a sudden you get a drawing so use a clean you get the drawing starting to come to life in three dimensions Ooh. Ah, that's rather interesting these smudges that are on here that you can see that's grease off a finger that goes on uh, to your drawing and it can you can get it your grease can go on a putty rubber sometimes and it can cause massive problems but again just rather than think of them as pro too many problems just have it as part of your drawing so now we've got the purple and utilize it and work around it so I've now pulled all around her blonde hair as well put some of the shadows in using the tissue and just push that around and again the same on the chiffon and down a dress even though a dress is going to be a little bit darker very quickly but now we are going to just accentuate and just pull some highlights up again just try and get some fresh clean part on your eraser and you can just very gently pull off some of those dark marks then you get the highlight on the forehead again her ear the highlights right on the top and you've got the two coming under and a little one in the middle 
highlights on the edge of her ear, one up the middle, on the sides, and we can just darken those down in a moment. The edge of her nose, a little under highlight, the same under a lip and a chin, then up a shoulder, and just on the front. You can soften that off a little bit. And down the side of her neck and down the side of her face. Just to give some three dimensional part. Oops, I think it moves the paper a little bit. And you get the top of her cheeks. Just to recreate the effect of some of the lighting as it's falling. And then the same thing in her hair, just put some wispy lines in that follow the direction. Because she's got blonde hair, that'll highlight it out quite easily. And it just recreates the highlights. Same on the gloves, just, you know, just whack it on, smudge it on, and over the chiffon, over her arm, do up the side of her arm. It's kind of loose natting. Again, I'll use the 4B because it's a bit darker and we need some much darker areas just so as it stands out. So the shadow down by the side of her head underneath her hair, that goes very dark and you can just soften that out again underneath. But then the inside of her ear. Gives it that slightly 3D quality underneath the chin, right the way down, and the strap. So we can really build this up. This is kind of velvety, so what you can do is really fill in the space quickly with a softer pencil like this. And then if you squint your eyes, remember, you can see where the darks are. So you've got a dark underneath the hand because it's casting the shadows. And you can fill in that space relatively quickly. And then the creases that come down. <clears throat> and you can fill the dress in really, really quickly to make that entire body part fit in the drawing much nicer. Our glove is much lighter kind of purple. So again just get your tissue and you can accentuate that underneath just to give the shape <clears throat> of the dress underneath the nice wispy material and you can draw that over Again, just then pull up some highlights of the chiffony material over the top and that will stand out. And then the same thing for the dress. You can just accentuate a couple of bits and pieces that will give it that kind of velvety effect. Just very, very quickly. Back to the 2B. And if we give some delineation to this glove. It's a very light lilac. And so we want a little bit of a shadow underneath and on the back of the hand for where Miss Piggy's hand is. And then we just need to darken down some of the curls on the inside on the side of her face. But here we have Miss Piggy looking rather radiant. And last but not least, we need to put her nostrils in. So that she stands out. And so there, very quickly, just using those shapes. And again, you've seen me just pushing those shapes around and using your eraser or your rubber, putty rubber, <clears throat> to actually develop and build up your drawing. But again, very simply, check out how to draw anything, the basics, part one, using shapes, and you can see how that works. 
and then just experiment doing that and you know copy these tutorials subscribe to my channel for more how to draw videos and go back and check out Woody from Toy Story and all the other characters planes trains Sean the sheep all those kind of people and you can see how using these techniques you can just develop your drawing skills and enjoy producing art for fun so anyway I hope you've enjoyed drawing Miss Piggy do check out Kermit and Denise and thank you very much have a great week drawing Ted R.